Boats, turtles, dolphins, and manatees can make for a bad mix. Recent boating strikes has prompted Moat Marine Laboratory to remind boaters to watch out for these animals and avoid striking them. SNN's Azure O'Neill has the story and what to do when you see a marine animal in distress. According to Moat Marine Laboratory, in the past two weeks alone, their stranding investigation program has taken in four turtles with boat strike injuries, including an extremely rare Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. Staff biologist Rebecca Hazelcorn says they see these types of cases all too often. About 30% of the turtles that come in through our program and through the hospital all suffer from some sort of human interaction, which includes entanglements, boat strikes, debris ingestion. Hazelcorn introduces us to one of their hospital patients, Mufasa. She has an old boat strike injury to her carapace. Her front left flipper was amputated by Moat Marine Labs Hospital because of an old entanglement wound that had gotten infected. She has entanglement scars on her right front flipper. Her beak in front has a slice as well from a boat. So she's lived a very hard life. She's been, she's been through a lot. Rebecca says there are some simple things boaters can do to protect sea life. Abiding by those post speed zones is a very important thing to do, um, not just for turtles, but for other species as well. Manatees use shallow grass flats. Wearing polarized sunglasses, it's something that can be as simple as that. It really does help cut the glare on water and allows you to see in the water a little bit. Stowing trash, making sure that your trash is secure and put away on the boat. So plastic bags, bottles, excess fishing line isn't going overboard is a really big help as well. If you see an injured marine animal, make sure to contact Moat Stranding Investigation Program immediately. The best thing to do if you ever see anything out in the water that you think is in distress or even already dead is go ahead and call Moat right away. Reporting from the Sea Turtle Hospital, Azure O'Neill, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. The 24-hour-a-day Moat Stranding pager number is 941 988 Eight zero two one two. Hazel Corn says it's up to the person calling to determine whether or not to stay with the animal until Moat arrives. She asks callers to leave a callback number and make note of GPS coordinates if possible.